Well, I'm guessing that we're pretty... You guys ready to go? LLL? You guys are all good? You guys are good? Okay, so first map coming up here in the loser's bracket final here at EGL4. It's capture the flag on countdown. Um, give us a little rundown on the map. It's, uh, capture the flag countdown. It's quite an old game type. Everyone's played it probably a few million times. Uh, straight up from the bat, everyone's going to be pushing outside for rockets and maybe one or two pushing uh, snipe two, try to get a fast, fast capture. Yeah. But generally it's a big fight for that snipe two control around the middle of the map and um, I'm, yeah, I'm the expecting LL to win this because Infused have told me they are not very good at this. I don't know. I think it's all going to come down to the snipe two control and how the teams use the rockets to be honest with you. I yeah. want to see some aggressive play holding snipe two like you say. And, uh, one yeah. set of rockets can definitely get a good few captures and a lot of control, but in the wrong hands, no damage can be done. So you've got to get the right kills in the right places and control those spawns. Yeah, it's all about the right kills in the right places, like you say. Matt, who do you think is going to win this series? <sighs> I'm putting you on the spot here. You've got to put your money on it. I'm going to say 3 2 LLL. You're what going to a game you? five. Uh, yeah. Ah. I said that about you guys last time. I got it right as well. Ah, what good. are you saying? Um, I'd like to see game five as well, but I've got a feeling it'll be three one LLL. Really? I've just for some reason I feel like LLL want to come and prove that they were a bit asleep against Dignitas and they can win this. Okay. Uh, I think they've saw they've seen I guess Baxter wears gunners, he's not wearing them right now. Uh, or was it water he's asking for? We have his caddy coming along. I know, yeah, he is getting some gunners now. <laughs> and then we're ready to go. Well, Jack needs, uh, needs everything perfect, or he'll have the excuses out, so yeah. Keena is the personal servant of most gamers. No, they're not for Baxter, they're for uh, Pete. Oh. Okay, and now we're ready to go. So, yes, countdown. Live here at Emirates Stadium in London. And we will be starting with Pete from Infused. Let's see what he does to you straight off the bat. Does he go for rockets? Does he go S2? I think he goes for rockets. Ooh. Going to find out. When you're on Dignitas, Matt, where did you push? What was your favourite thing to do? Did you throw loads of nades? Did you I wait back? I would just get the jetpack, soar out, get a triple kill and get the rockets usually. Or ah. sometimes, sometimes a double kill. It kind of varied. So here we go. Loser bracket finals. Two pushing S2 from both teams. They obviously know what each other does. And yeah, that's definitely one a pre land talking right there. And LLL definitely took the rockets there. Looked like Infuse won the S2 battle, but LLL won the more important one and got rocket control. Now Pete picking up sniper rifle. Although he didn't get the rockets, I think they could do some damage with some good shots there. Pops a shield, but gets taken to no health at all. LLL working the flag out now. Good S2 control. Got the rockets in there as well. Just actually died at the moment. Let's see who can claim them. Looks like Book 20's going for them. Both Books pushing into that Snipe 2. Grabbing the rockets, leaving the flag for a moment. Looks very strong position for LLL with the power weapon moving the flag I'm not out. So too sure a lot how they didn't dead. cap there, to be honest. Looked like infused all spawn low door, so I'm not too sure what happened. I expected maybe a cap there. Maybe some good nades. We have a flanking from Infuse running the flag jetpack. LL2 dead. Book 20 coming S3. Gonna try and drop down, slow the flag down. Get Manages split to do so. There. Could this be 1 0? It is. That's 1 0 to Infuse, and the flag has been put in. Pino with that flag cap there as he uh, picks up the sniper rifle here. For 17 taken down. This is another flag cap for Infuse. They're going to the look very early on unless LLL in the position at the front of the base. I don't know why I'm not he didn't sure why he didn't run that. I'm not really sure. As you can see, Infuse rule set up there. Literally four guys in the S2 area. They but managed to pop it in, but I'm not, I'm not too sure what Jack was trying to do there. But yeah, still get the cap. And this is very important. When you're on this spawn at top, it is very important sometimes just push back into your base. Make sure they can't get a double cap and also stop the flag in some cases. Yeah, indeed. It's also important not all to run in the same direction. And as you can see, every single one of Infuse managed to take a different route there. And a great play to stop the flag run. I do believe we're on board with Baxter at the moment as he takes on Buck 20. Baxter took a lot of faces in the last game of Apex versus Infuse with the snipe, so he might be able to do a lot of damage here. Yeah, he was sniping really well in the last game. Fragby caught a few in the jaw. 
Free down for LLL. Yeah, new rockets coming up in 20 seconds, so expect teams to start setting up for that soon. Maybe try and run the flag outside towards the rockets to keep control. It didn't seem like the first set of rockets were too important with the caps. LLL got control of him, but Infuse managed to get a 2 0 lead. Yeah, it can usually be the first rockets kind of used to actually get the actual rockets at the start, maybe pick them up, kill a couple of people. Well, the second set of rockets and obviously the third and four are really important in securing uh, captures and general S2 control. And LLL seem a bit clueless at the moment, to be honest. They're running in one by one. They're not using very much teamwork. They're not waiting for one another. And control is in complete infused hands and they're taking advantage of it with a few captures. Yeah, it looks like they're running another flag here now as well. I'm not too surprised, to be honest with you. Infuse have just come off two, three, three, even three straight series and uh, a couple of intense ones as well. So they're obviously going to be more warmed up team. Let's see if LLL can ease their way into this game. I'm not sure I agree with the rocket snipe combo either. But we'll have to see what we can do. Coming in. Just going to wait for his teammates, wait for a few pushes from the LLL boys. Gets a killing spree and a flag pull. No half pack there to save him. Staying alive well though. And then this is going to be 4-0. Could this be a quick 5-0 from Infused in less than five minutes? Good body shot. Oh, there's a battle. Book 20. He does take him out. When you're reloading, you cannot shoot your gun. That was an important battle there. Instead of being 3-3 uh, free -free in terms of players on the map, it was 2-4. Now a ball with Pino. And still, LLL are yet to get on the board, and the flag is on the spot, but they can't quite finish it with Shinato not being able to take out those two guys pushing. Did they and it looks like they're the giving up alive? on that. Yeah. I think maybe it's about... Yeah, it's reset. As Infused look to put the final Blackjack. flag in, running it low side. one. Looks like the flag's going in. 5-0. And that's it. 5-0 in less than five minutes. Infused will be very happy with that start. Yeah, I expected LLL to put a bit more of a fight, but... As you say, kind of, not expected, but uh, sorry, Infuse showing that they uh, carry the momentum from the last series into the first game there.